Jubilee. Thanks for traveling me. We are born in the Carnival Jubilee today. Let's go, baby. It's Christmas. You heard that right. Come along with my family and I as we take our annual trip aboard Carnival Jubilee for a seven day Western Caribbean sailing. Come along. We headed to Galveston on the first thing smoking out of DCA National Airport uh, on Southwest Airlines. And then we booked a private shuttle to uh, Port. Uh, or Galveston area. It was about $150 for a private shuttle. It was cheaper if you do Uber. Since we had an early morning, we decided to our first stop would be food, so we stopped at Miller's and then headed over to Murdoch's for some gift shopping. As you can see, Miller's has a view of the Galveston Beach area. Murdoch's has to be the biggest gift shop that I've ever seen. But one of the things that is noticeable about this place is that it has some rocking chairs where you can get a view of the beach and just kind of rest and watch people watch along the boardwalk. was in town so we headed back to the hotel which was true by Hilton I will say although this hotel is not in the mix of things in Galveston it was a great place to host a family or group cruise as they have um, a large public area there's a bar attached where you can kind of host all the people who are traveling along your group One thing about my family is we love to eat. So after we did some pre-game drinks, we headed to, down the boardwalk to Jones Crab Shack. There are other restaurants um, on the Galveston seawall that you can choose from. Uh, but this is what kind of fit what we were our seafood fix. All right. See you on the boat. Got our shirts. As you can see, it's hot and humid because my lens fogged up. But here we are heading to the port and our, our hotel, which was True by Hilton, set up shuttle service for us. It was about $10 or so per person. You will have to pay the driver in cash. But this, again, made it easy for all of us to get support together and make sure that we were able to check in um, together and on time. Yeah. After going to our mustard station, I dropped off my things in my cabin. This time I was I booked the guarantee cabin and I was assigned a accessible room. Um so here is what that looks like. If you like a full tour of this cabin, click on the link in the description. So this is the of a C, and this is a tour of cabin 11317, which is an accessible cabin on Carnival Jubilee. If you're interested in booking this room or any other room on Carnival Cruise Line or any other cruise ship, please contact me at cofc at gmail.com. Okay, so if you're on deck nine and you are near cabin 9396, there is an ironing room here on Carnival Jubilee, and let's take a peek. So there's a spot for you to get the water, I guess wash your hands you need to two irons and a phone to call in case you get locked in an emergency but yeah no more um washrooms but there are ironing rooms on jubilee good to know so this is cabin 93336 on carmel jubilee this was my mom's balcony and connecting cabin on the ship uh, for another room tour, you can also see the link in the description below. After putting my bags down, it was time to get ready for the sail away, explore the Lido deck, and check out other areas of the ship. Yeah. 
So they are still getting the pool ready, which is interesting. The pool is ready for sail away. So there must have been something major going on with the pool. As you can see, Carnival Jubilee is very similar to his sister ships. However, there are some small enhancements. One being the cabanas that are free on the side of the Lido deck. And I swear there's a little more shade in this serenity area. Probably the favorite spot will be up there. And those are all complimentary here. About the Excel class that it has its own pool, and because it's the only pool working, it's kind of packed right now. I will say, selling out of Galveston is not the most scenic, and if you heard Charles Barkley, he's right. Import that day was uh, us, the Jubilee, as well as Carnival Breeze, and they were the first to head out to sea, so we got to wave them goodbye. on the Lido deck folks start to congregate for Carnival's epic sail away party and the cruise director for this sailing was none other than Kendall Fire who is a native Texan and will be Carnival's cruise director on Jubilee as Jubilee is Carnival's flagship in the city of Galveston. <laughs> During Carnival Sell Away, look up, you might be on the Jumbotron. Confession, my mom does not know any of the line dances, including the electric slide.
just love Kendall Fire. We nicknamed her Kendall the Stallion. She came over to thank us for dancing and participating in the Celebrate Party. We are celebrating, speaking of celebrations, turning platinum, animal gold. Uh, and then my family and I were off to do more exploring of the ship. So these are still free. This is different. They move these to the side. They're usually back there on the side. We were finally on our way and the water of Galveston does not become too scenic. Um, however, it's just always great to be on a cruise ship. You get that deep blue cruise water about day two. I chilled out and had a bit of cousin time before heading to a solo dinner in Fahrenheit 555. So good evening, we are eating at Fahrenheit 555. This is my first time ever at Fahrenheit 555. I've done the smaller sick houses on Carnival's older ships, however, I've not done Fahrenheit 555. I will say I have lost a little bit of hope in sick houses or cruise ships. However, this one came highly recommended, so I figured because I'm back on the Excel, Excel class ship, I will give this one a try. So we'll see. Is it worth the hype? Let's check it out. So I have done the steakhouse a couple of times on Carnival's smaller ships, the Pride and the Legend. However, I have never did the Fahrenheit 555 experience on the Excel class ship, so I was looking forward to trying something different. Although I had the drink package, I still asked for the complimentary bottle of wine on the first night in the steakhouse. Chef just came out to greet us, or me, in the table next to me. And of course, in tradu traditional carnival steakhouse style, they give us the little, what's it called, a moosh poosh or appetizer. I don't know. But it's the infamous mini burger. I chose the colossal shrimp cocktail as an appetizer. Great quality shrimp and bigger than like the Carnival Legends shrimp. I opted for the Surf and Turf with the New York Strip and I was able to, I was feeling a little greedy, so I decided to get not one but two lobster tails and that was only a $23 upcharge. So I was being greedy on a bit of a budget. Beautiful, thank you. Alrighty, so for $23 upcharge for you the New York strip, you can do lobster tails for 23 bucks, which I think is worth it. Okay, status update. So I could have Yukon Gold potatoes, could have licked the bottom of that bowl. That was so good. Ignore the A1 sauce. <laughs> I asked for a steak sauce, but I wanted the steakhouse sauce. I did get the red wine sauce, but. Uh, hey, after having dinner solo it was time to reunite with the family for the shows in the evening and here is the show that's in the atrium area Basically, this show is a sampler of all of the entertainment as well as the theater shows that will be happening aboard the ship throughout your sailing. Thank you. 
He wrote more than Jubilee. And I gotta know, are you guys ready for the best cruise ever? Oh y'all, you've waited a long And when you see me around the ship, y'all, I don't want you to be like, I want you to, I want you to really make me work this week. Whenever you see me, one thing, the only thing you have to say to stop me dead in my tracks is just go, fire! And now we're we'll literally like, ah! boom, boom, boom. And we're gonna become best friends. And y'all like, no way, not a chance, for real. It is like, literally, I've been walking, I'm like, ah! that's it. So when you see me, you just say that one word and it'll really break that ice and it'll allow us to have a chance to get to know one another because I am here for y'all to have the great time. So let's get the first one out the way. You're like, no way. For real? Yes, I mean for real. So right now, everyone get your vocals warmed up. Y'all go. <laughs> I love Karn because y'all are so funny. All right, I'm gonna say my name is Kendall and y'all are all gonna shout fire! And I'll hit you with the bomb, bomb, bomb. And we're gonna become best friends, all right? Are you prepared? Are you prepared? You're not prepared. You're not ready for it, girlfriend. You ain't ready for it. Someone that's prepared say, I am ready. I am ready. Okay, here we go. All right, my name is Kendall. split my pants. That's how friends. I'm gonna be honest. The very first week I did this, I was so excited. I really went all the way down and it was a banana split situation. But you guys know a little bit more about me now, so you guys are feeling a little bit more acquainted with me, but I need to feel a bit more acquainted with y'all. There is 6,212. And that was our first full day aboard Carnival Jubilee. This is C with C. Thanks for traveling with me. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, and shout out to the channel members, and I will see you in the next video.